I'm coming to you with day 14 of 30 inks, 30 days. Um, here's our full calendar so far. Um, I did find my Lawy 2000, thank goodness. Oh, what does sneeze? It's looking really nice. Um, I did have uh, one person comment that they were sad that all purple week was um, was um, interrupted. So I think what we'll do next week is we'll do an all purple week next week. So if you have purple requests, let me know in the comments and I will see what I can do. Um, but yeah, this week we're just gonna, I picked a, I picked a, I picked a, as you can see from the title, I picked a blue ink for today. So all purple week is out the door, but yes, next week we'll plan on all purple week. I could probably do a whole purple month. Let's be completely honest, but I don't want to end up hating my favorite color by the end of the month. I did the 30 inks once where I used only one pen. This is before I did YouTube. Um, it wouldn't be feasible now unless I just like filled or dipped, but then you still got to clean it. Anyway, it wouldn't be feasible for how I record my videos. Um, but yeah, I hated, it was my pilot prayer and I hated that pen after using it only as my only pen for 30 days and I chucked it in a drawer and didn't look at it for like a year. So I don't, I would like to not hate my favorite color. So I will never probably do a full month of a color ever. Like, I think about doing it. It sounds like a fun challenge. I love when other people do it. But for me personally, I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, but next week, we'll do a whole week of purple. Um, if you have purple requests, leave them in the comments, like I said. And I will see what I can do to accommodate. Um, yeah, I don't know what links I'm going to use. I also had a thought about June. I know June is typically pen friend appreciation month where I use samples and things that you've all sent me. Um, but I was thinking about maybe mixing it up this time and doing like all Birmingham inks or something like that. But I know Birmingham doesn't really ship outside of the U.S. So that's kind of sucky for some of the international people. So if you have thoughts about what to do for June, if I should, maybe I'll put up a poll if I can figure out how to do that. I don't know if I can do that. I think I can, but maybe I'll figure out what to do. I'll put up a poll see what everybody wants if you want like a Birmingham month or if I should do pen friend appreciation month I like doing pen friend appreciation month because I'm using the stuff that you're sending me like dedicatedly using the stuff that you're sending me but um yeah I don't know I was just thinking about that today so anyway no decisions have been made it was just the thoughts I had so anyway today I think is actually going to look really lovely next to this one and I didn't even plan it um we actually also need to do a swatch um, I guess I guess I should show you what ink we're using today. Um, the ink we're using today is a sample that I have of Pannonia. It's Kekekekye. I'm probably not an excellent pronunciation, but Kekekekye. I I listened to how to pronounce it from the Pannonia website, so um, yeah, we'll see. If that's good. I did okay with with the dandelion ink. Thank you. Um, so hopefully I did this one correctly, but it means blue of blues and it's a really nice blue ink and I thought that it would be fun to use today. So we're going to do a swatch card. We'll do splats. We'll do all the stuff. Um, yeah, I kind of like having to do these samples that I have to swatch because it, even though I don't want the videos to be like super long, it does make them a little longer for people who like the longer videos. Um, plus I get through some of these samples I have to swatch. I really just need to have like a big swatch fest day as always well not always but this whole set of inks were from Van S pens and here's the scribble I don't know just feeling a blue ink and I saw this in the front of the box um and so I was like okay let's let's use one of those Pannonia And there are accents on the E's, but I don't remember if they go um, right to left or left to right. So I'll maybe put those in later. This looks like a really nice blue. The pen I'm using today is a Franklin Kristoff Model 55. It's, um, I think it's Midnight Blue for the blue parts and then Candy Stone for the center. Um, it's a really comfortable pen. I have a fine nib on it, which is my first Franklin Kristoff fine nib. I have a couple broad nibs from them and a broad sig. Um, I think I have a medium stub. I had a medium cursive italic, but I gave it to a friend. Um, and, uh, yeah, I have a couple broads. I think I said that mediums, but this is my very first fine nib and it's, uh, it's lovely. I would like to get a sig nib in every size. 
Um, this is just a plain fine nib, but uh, it writes really nicely. I actually like the way it writes in my planner a whole lot, so I'm very excited to use this pen tomorrow at work. Um, yeah, very excited. Okay, let's do our swatch, and then we will do all of the other things. How's everybody's day going? Let's take that off. How's everybody's day? How's your uh, day? Oh, this is such a pretty blue. It's bright. But also, like, probably not for everybody, but it's really bright and really um, cheerful. Definitely reminds me of, like, a... It's not like a ballpoint blue, but it's definitely a nice basic blue if you need that in your collection. Bright. I would say brighter, actually, than maybe a basic... Like, it's truly basic blue, but... This is going to get the job done for what I needed to tomorrow. I missed a couple spots, but that's okay. We're, we're fine. We're fine with that. Are we fine with that? I need to do my spots anyway, so let's see if we can... Maybe we can... Dot some ink. On that edge here. Perfect. Perfect. That bothers me way less. I get it doesn't always bother me, but then sometimes it does. So anyway, yes, just a nice a nice blue. Yeah, I would say it's just a nice basic blue. I'm trying to see has some good shading so far in the text that's dry. I'm not really seeing any sheening, but yeah, we'll see what happens when we do a, a bigger application. Um, the lighting's kind of weird. It's after work and the, it's really cloudy, so I'm getting that like indirect, indirect, indirect sunlight. It is day 14. I hate when I do my fours like that. Um, and this is April 2022. Ink. A pen. Franklin, Kristoff. Model 55. Midnight. Candy Stone. Anyway, take up the whole page with text. That's okay. If I cover it with a splat, I don't I don't really care. And I'm going to move this again. Ooh. Okay, we had plenty of ink. We have plenty of ink in there. Oh, that looks like a W. Should we leave it? Should we leave it? No. Let's... I like these like offshoot splats. Okay, cool. I think we'll leave, we'll leave that. That's good enough. Okay. Yeah, it's just a pretty like basic medium blue. It doesn't really have, it doesn't seem like it has like a ton of anything in it really. It just, it's just a, it's a blue. It's a nice basic blue. Blue of blues, like it's, it's blue. It's living up to its name. <laughs> if you don't like blue inks, it's probably not going to be your thing. I, um, I like blue inks. I like blue inks in um, ballpoint pens and gel pens. Um, usually in fountain pens, I like pretty much any other color inks. Um, 
fountain pens. I also I also tend to like black inks if the black is black enough. I think I've talked about that before, but in case you haven't heard my thoughts on black ink, I don't like it when black inks are not black. Um, I don't like it when they're like light black or um, when they are just, I need them to be black, 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 black. Or I'm not happy. Got into tomorrow a little bit, but that's fine. shading this fine nib works great on this uh, Hobonichi paper yeah swipey swipey I think the blue looks really pretty again I mean it's not teal but it's a bluish next to an orange <laughs> I always do that. I don't even like mean to do it. I was just like, I don't know, subconsciously I was like, ah, I feel like a blue today. Here we go. Like I said, it doesn't really look like there's much in the way. Of, there's some shading in the sink, but not really much in the way of like sheen or anything. Just a, it's just a nice basic blue. Um, there are a million basic blues out there. Reminds me a little bit of Pilot Blue. So if you have a nice basic blue that you enjoy, you may not care for this one. But if you need a blue in your life, uh, yeah, so far so good. At least in the initial swatching process. Um, here it is. We're still waiting for some of these darker ink splats to dry. Spread it out a little bit. Um... It's always fun. It's always fun to like swirl it around, spread it out. But yeah, now it kind of looks like a bird, sort of. Anyway, there you go. I can't wait to see what this looks like dry, especially now that we have like layers of the ink. Because we splattered a lot of ink. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, just a really pretty basic blue. I'm uh, super excited. This is basically what I was looking for uh, for, for today's ink. So I'm pleased with my selection. And uh, yeah, I will see you again tomorrow with day 15 of 30 inks 30 days. Um, I did get some requests in the comments for a couple specific greens and an interesting brown. Um, I'm trying to think of what an interesting brown is, and um, I think I have the greens that were requested, so um, we'll see one, maybe two of those the rest of this month. If you have other any other requests, um, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to accommodate. Um, again, um, I'm putting it out on video. It's, in, it's being recorded. Next week, we're going to do all purples, so if you have a request for a purple that you want to see, let me know. I probably have it. If I can't get it by next week, I probably won't do it, but like I said, I'll do my best to accommodate any requests because I want to uh, make sure that I'm doing stuff that you want to see. Um, obviously, I have 80 gajillion purple inks. I can, I can fill seven days of inks. I don't need help, but if you have something you really want to see, let me know and I will do my best. Um, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Love you. Bye.